welcome back to another video of Isaiah 33. Today I want to talk about um, like some of the strongest uh, main characters that are female in animes. Um, I of course kind of mention like everyone and I haven't watched every anime out there. So I'm sorry if I missed someone that would be worth being on that list but yeah, as I said, I haven't watched any everyone and um, it might have just slipped, you know, through I didn't remember it or whatever. But yeah, I also haven't watched, by the way, uh, Boku no Hero Academia. So if it, it's someone from there, guys, I haven't watched it. I can't possibly know. I just know the characters, but I don't know their strengths and I haven't watched it. So you won't find anyone from there in here in that list. All right. Let me start of my personal favorite. Like, by the way, like it's not a list with number one, two, three, no. Um, it's just like, I'm just telling you the people here. Like my personal favorite is of course, Urza Scarlet from Fairy Tail. Like who can be more badass than her? Even when she got robbed of every of her senses, she would still continue fighting. Like, ugh. I think she's a very inspiring person despite not being real. <laughs> And in general, a great friend and fighter warrior, very, very strong and definitely deserves to be on that list. I also have like um, a bracelet where I put the word Titania on um, because honestly, I feel she's very inspiring and yeah, just like, you know, she had me like the, that anime I was watching at a time where I wasn't feeling very well and <clears throat> the whole thing with Urza and stuff like that kind of took off my mind and it was really important to me so I made that bracelet and to remind me like you gotta be strong like her <laughs> I'm not but <laughs> yeah so the other one would be like Eris Ferris I don't know if you know it um, it's from the anime call called the legend of the legendary heroes I think she's pretty amazing because although she doesn't seem to use actual magic she can fight like magic users and she's not afraid to even um, face people that are way stronger than her like um, her past also was hard she always um, trained hard and wasn't always treated nicely by her parents so like I don't know she definitely deserves to be on the list uh, in my opinion of course like everything is my own opinion like don't be too harsh on me like you can have your own and you can comment it down below but just don't don't hate don't hate don't hate on me on anyone else that just doesn't share your opinion it's, it's fine we don't have to have the same opinion. So, Rory Mercury, I love Rory. I don't know, like you could argue with me that she's not that strong or she's not that amazing or you don't see her fighting that much, but she is freaking strong. And especially she doesn't really look like that. She looks like a really, really young little girl. And then you hear she's like over 900 or 700 years or whatever she is. And she's kind of helping the God or she is the apostle of a God. I don't remember of which one. <laughs> remember it exactly but i really loved her in general when i was watching gate i actually pretty much enjoyed gate which i didn't think i would but yeah i love rory as well she's pretty badass and deserves to be on that list for that then we have yona from akatsuki no yona and you might be wondering why she's on the list i mean i put it more on um i put most people for physical strength mostly and fighting strength um in that list but for her it's a bit different like um she actually learned to fight through the process, through the anime and learned to fend for herself and to adapt to circumstances she wasn't used um, to that point like ever because yeah, she was like, she was like a princess, raised like a princess and everything. So you would say like she's not really strong since she just uses the bow and arrow to shoot and it's not really a combat. But in the end, like um, I put her in there because it didn't only really took her like um, strength emotional strength to actually um do all the things she did and um not only like go through the things she did but also like get stronger as a person and become a better person uh but she also got like physically stronger i'd say like i don't know i feel like she deserves a spot in here because of all that progression she made like it's, it's a visible like journey she made from being like almost a brat and very spoiled to being that strong, independent, um, kind of independent, of course, female. And I think there's a lot to come about her, either like in the anime, which I'm not gonna say right now, or like in the next seasons, I hope there will be, because I pretty much think that anime deserves a second season at least. So let's continue. Another one from Fairy Tail. Like I could mention a lot of from, from Fairy Tail, but I will stop 
at that one. It's Mira Jane, like, ah, uh, totally badass. With her transformations especially, like, she's so cute and you would never think she's such a badass fighter. Yeah, like, ah, uh, she definitely deserves a spot. Like, you can't argue with me about that one. Then it's Mikasa. Mikasa, though being a pretty normal human being, no magic, no supernatural powers, she fights titans and even better than most guys. And she, in general, has, um, like also emotional strength even if that's given by someone else doesn't really matter she shows a lot of emotional strength as well so she deserves that spot then we have like lucy from elfenlied or elfenlight like i don't know how you know it like in german it would be elfenlied um i think english people know it as elfenlight but yeah i think lucy also like she's pretty strong so she should be mentioned here at least then <sighs> i can't give I can't give a spot to her actually. She's like the little special snowflake here. Akana from Ranma One Half. Now, why do I even mention her? The thing is, when the anime first starts, we see her fighting off like um, the martial arts team of her whole school. All right, like she fights all the guys and every martial arts uh, team possible, and she beats the heck out of them. And in general, she used to fight a lot and win fights and. Be very proud of her of herself and everything but as the anime progresses she actually regresses in that she becomes very dependent on ranma and so i can't really give her that spot like if she would have stayed that strong independent female she was like she i would have uh still put her in here because especially she had no supernatural powers or anything she was just a normal human being and um as a high school girl to be that strong like that would deserve a spot in here but yeah like since they wanted to uh, make that anime appeal to males way too much, I think they screwed up the character of her. Not that it was uh, not enjoyable afterwards, but yeah, like, I mean, it's kind of sad, like, to just make her, like, become so much weaker, kind of. But, alright, um, that's about it, actually. Like, as I said, I haven't watched every anime po uh, possible, and... I might not know someone who should have been on that list, but again, like, don't be too harsh on me. Like, and you can always write down something and I can check it out. And also that list is like the list I made right now. I mean, in one year, in two years, even in six months, it could change. And I might make, make, might make a new one where maybe some of the people I even mentioned will be out because so many others will have joined. So, yeah, just that. So thank you for watching and hope to see you again. Bye bye.